third and out against Iowa in the opener yesterday. Four runs allowed, all of them earned. She was chased out quickly. Here over to short, McVeigh gives Durkowski that first out in the first batter. That's got to be a little bit of a confidence. Over to third base, Erickson gobbles it up. Quickly two down here in the first. Another 2-2 pitch coming to Torrey Bennett. Up the middle, McVeigh swoops to her left. And a flawless top of the first from Lauren Durkowski. Another 3-2. Is a base hit into the gap in right center field. Sealer has wheels. She jets to second base and is in safely. Bunts it, third baseman Jackson able to retire Indiana Langford, but the sacrifice complete and Sealer now at third base. At bats, a remarkable transformation for Erickson, who has herself a base hit to left and an RBI. Michigan strikes first, it's one nothing. Get them over and get them in. It's just simple softball right there. That was a great job by Maddie Erickson. Something on the inner half, you don't want to run into a ground ball to short or third base over there, and she was able to find a hole and make something happen. Early sixth, two in the seventh, then a walk off in the eighth. Excuse me, swing, tapper, right side. Nice work by Langford and Thole to recoil there. Not an easy play, but a 4-3 put out for Michigan. This one to shallow center field. Three Wolverines converge, and the boisterous Janisa Conway calls off everyone. Squeezes out number two. Right at the third baseman, Erickson. Scoops it up on one hop in a seven pitch. Perfect second for Lauren Durkowski. Michigan won, Iowa nothing. We're in the middle of the second. Here she is making a big impact for a Michigan team that stands in third place in the Big Ten. Out toward left center, hit pretty well. Just shy of the track, Grace Baines hauls it in. Boy, the wind almost pushed that one over. A lot in there, and she is making an impact. This one near Michigan's dugout. Sammy Diaz has room and puts away Costales for the second out. Greer's 41st pitch, a 41st pitch is low, and Ella McVeigh works the second Michigan walk. That one pops out of the mitt of Lindsay. McVeigh hustling to second. She didn't flinch, took off, and now is in scoring position. In position for Sealer here. And is indeed Rule the passed ball. Little flare right to the second baseman, Young. Caught it on the fly, threw it to first anyway, inning over. Here, 10 strikeouts. Very good stat there. The payoff pitch. Dribbled right side. Langford over to her left. Another ground out. One down here in the third. Payoff pitch, part three to Hannah Lindsay. Called strike three. A lengthy battle goes to Lauren Durkowski for out number two. Out toward right field. Stevenson got a good jump, lost her shade, still hauls it in. Nine up, nine down for Durkowski. She's been great so far. From Carol Hutchins Stadium. Devin Greer back to work against Indiana Langford. She shoots one to second. Jenny Young able to retire her counterpart. One pitch and one out. Well struck, but right at the beginning, the fifth in game one. Slow, steady rally from the Wolverines to sweep that double dip. Hugs the chalk at third, stays fair. Avery Jackson a strong throw to put away Maddie Erickson. Michigan hoping to stay unbeaten here at home. They're 7-0. Trying to keep pace with the likes of Northwestern and Penn State above them in the Big Ten standings. And copy paste from the first, a five pitch walk in each of her first two trips. Called third strike. Greer 
has her first punch out, and she works around the two-out walk. Good pitcher's duel so far here in Michigan. One nothing outs, a strikeout, and a couple of modest flyouts. This one bounded over to short. Weird hop for McVeigh goes underneath her glove, and Iowa has its first base runner on what could be an interesting scoring to get some momentum. It's ruled a single. I think that's the right call. Jenny Young bunts one back to Durkowski. Chucks it over to the second baseman, Langford covering. Heck of a job by Langford to lean back where her momentum was taking her away. That Riley Moss single, the sacrifice to second. Now to third, knocked down by Erickson. No play, another hit. First of her two back-to-back -back no hitters last year. This one lined up the middle of base hit. Stop sign at third base for Moss. They're loaded in the fourth on three singles, and that from Diaz. Greer up the middle. The second baseman, Langford, over to the shortstop for one. Can't turn two. We're tied at one on the RBI ground out for Devin Greer. Just wasn't hit quite hard enough for Michigan to be able to make sure that that run was able to come through. Greer's 12th RBI. Still runners at the corners for Iowa. Grace Baines the batter. Line shot right to Lankford at second base. She was involved plenty in that fourth inning defensively. Iowa tied. And Stevenson, then Costales, all three freshmen back to back to back who have been able to be productive in these situations. Greer rears back and blows one by Conway. Second strike this recent red hot streak. The native of Algonac went around too far. That is now three consecutive punch outs from Devin Greer who's settling in well for Iowa in the circle against the surging Devin Greer. 3-2 delivery. Missed with it. Walk number four. None of those free passes have resulted in runs so far. Out towards center field, Grace Baines had to track back a little bit after a hard charge in, and McVeigh's retired to end the fourth. We go to the fifth, all square at one. Here from shoes of giving Iowa free base runners because Klosterman, Lindsay, and Jackson have struggled offensively. And on a 2-0, a soft grounder to first, that's a big boost for out number one. Skim to third, Erickson, strong throw across. The ground out parade. Outcome than I thought it would be. That's why we love this game, right? You just can't predict it. This one plopped over to second base. Langford able to throw it over and retire Jackson by a step. Very strategic with these Michigan hitters, but with Ellie Sealer at the top of the lineup. Now toward to left something. field, diving catch. What a play from Riley Klosterman for out number one. That saves a leadoff hit and wow. What a play from Klosterman. Got a pretty good read, and that's not an easy play with that one sinking fast. That's a great job. Keeping Michigan off the base paths for now. This one looped to third, and it's Avery Jackson's turn for a splendid play. Two outs in the inning, both requiring Full leaps forward. Stepping up today. This is what they needed from yesterday. Seven errors on the day, game one, game two, and then today, no errors. They're making diving plays. This team came to play today. Mm. What a heck. Correct. Big swing and a miss. Greer's fourth strikeout, and that time she gave her defense a respite after. Moss dribbles one to third. 
Maddie Erickson can't beat the speedy Riley Moss hustling down the line. She has an infield single to start the sixth by an undefeated at home Michigan team. Young bunts it. There's once again a play for Erickson. Gets Young by an eyelash, no review needed there. Moss, normally this would be Sujin Berry in this spot for Iowa, but she was injured yesterday. Bennett smacks one off Durkowski, deflects to Erickson, no play, infield single. This year, the one-two. Roller off the glove of the pitcher, Durkowski. There's the tag, but not in time at first. McVeigh did everything she could. Moss scores, and Iowa leads 2-1. to one. First, could have been a little bit closer, but we got one out. And now Devin Greer elevates this one down the left field line. Sealer couldn't quite get Hits, Devin Greer. Would have been a walk anyways. The 15th batter, Durkowski's. And back-to-back -back hit batters. They're loaded for Iowa. One, two, part two. Chop left side, tough play for McVay. There is none, it's 3-1 Iowa. Well placed from Briley Klosterman. And the Hawkeyes have some insurance here in the sixth. Cold strike three. Second punch out for Durkowski. She wishes it would have been a little bit earlier, but she still was their third batter of the game. Full out to right center, hit pretty well. Baines back at the track, leaps up, it's gone. Just beyond the reach of Grace Baines. Kiki Tholes, 12th home run, pulls Michigan within a run. Right now they're showing that they are the comeback kids. They've proved it over and over again. Michigan undefeated at home. Those two rallies down 5-0 at one point in game one. Down 8-1 in the middle of the fifth in game two. Here they are, now down just a single tally with Lily Valamonts digging in. And she attacks the first pitch, kind of a similar adjustment. And earn a sweep. Bound it up the middle, and there it goes that Funk for Valamont in Big Ten play. She singles, and it's the tying run now at first base for the Wolverines team. Conference at bats. This, an opportunity here to keep the fun going. She puts a bunt down. Jackson charges. Nowhere close to being able to beat Janisa Conway, and she breaks the slump. First and second with nobody out. Now she's swinging away right back to the circle. Greer gets the lead runner. Stung, but right at Devin Greer. One down in the sixth. Out toward left, stung well. Back at the wall, it's gone! Castolis does it again. The freshmen deliver. And Michigan's back in front. Two homers here in inning number six. What a fantastic job by Castellis. Staying calm, finding a pitch that she likes, knowing that they were going to be pitching around her. I mean, that is just very, very good on the freshmen. Iowa makes a change in the circle. Devin Greer's afternoon is done. We'll tell you about it after this timeout here on Big Ten Plus. Four strikeouts. And she didn't have any of those four walks come back to bite her. Out towards center. This one will plop in for a base hit. And Michigan having a ton of sixth inning offensive success. 
scratch out a couple of runs, and then Michigan flexing the offensive muscle. Payoff pitch. Looper, one hop to short. Bennett, well executed to throw out the speedy sealer. Well, I think on both sides, hitters are starting to make adjustments, figuring out what's going to work for them. Up. Wouldn't be surprised to see Avery Jackson pinch hit for. This one bunted beautifully. Adams has no play. Throws back to third. McVeigh was off the base for an eyelash. Got back on it. It's first and third, and even Langford thought about trying. Here we go again. Off speed, lofted down the left field line. This is Torrey Bennett, the shortstop, to put away Erickson after a fun duel. We go to the seventh. Michigan trying to salt away a sweep. We'll have it for you here. Same mindset. A five-pitch leadoff walk for Tantiana Roman. Top of the order, Riley Moss, the batter. She has singled and scored in each of her last two trips to the plate. Make sure that they can get that crucial out at second base. Swung on and missed. Heck of a response. A three-pitch strikeout after a five-pitch free pass. One down in the seventh. Keeping her composure, going after hitters, and utilizing all her pitches. Driven deep to right field, and on cue, Jenna Young ties the game. Young is Iowa's only home run threat, and she does just that to bring this one level in the seventh. A walk. Durkowski a bit perplexed there. She thought maybe on the, both of those last two she had a strikeout. Instead, the go-ahead run. This one dribbled over to short. Not in time at second base. Tori Bennett beats it out. Sammy Diaz over to first, and that more reminiscent of how Iowa scored a couple of runs. Two and two the count. Here it comes to Greer. Out toward left field, right at Ellie Seeler. Bit of a late read there, charges in, makes the catch. Greer retired for out number two. That's a big first out for the outing for Hannah George. Skipped to short. McVeigh flips it over to Langford. That ends the inning. Hannah George able to keep it tied. Michigan can walk it off for the second time this weekend and clinch a series sweep at the bottom of the seventh. Has reached every time today. Two walks and a sixth inning home run. Check swing tapper in nowhere close. Throw safe at first. Way to hustle down the line, Kiki Thole. Here it's the heart of the order try to finish off the Hawkeyes. And a big bounce back strikeout from Jalen Adams. She gets Valamont looking. To Conway trying to help Michigan walk it off. She works a five pitch walk. This one for five innings felt like it was gonna be completely different, yet here we are at 5-5. The 0-2 guided left side, tag attempt by the third baseman Jackson. She didn't get the tag on Ilaqua, and everybody's safe. Has the chance here once again. This is exactly where you wanna be with Castellas up to bat. Looper, shallow left, that'll drop, base hit, game winner, Costales does it again. A 
a series sweep. Three come from behind wins and two walk-offs to finish things off for the still unbeaten at home Michigan Wolverines. What a performance and Michigan keeps pace with the likes of Northwestern in first place, Penn State in second place in the Big Ten standings. Wow. Wolverines a winner, six to five. That'll do it for us here from Ann Arbor. For Anissa Urtez, I'm Brian Bush. Thanks to our outstanding crew, including Brian Hartley and Steve Campbell. Michigan wins it here on Big Ten Plus.